If we had to describe Jennifer Coolidge in one word, it'd be iconic. Still, reaching that level of stardom took a ton of blood, sweat, and tears, and the actor's time in the spotlight has had its fair share of tragic obstacles. Many movie and TV watchers may not realize what a versatile actor Jennifer Coolidge really is. That's because, for a long time, her most popular roles were as static comic relief characters like Stifler's mom in American Pie and Paulette in Legally Blonde. It's no secret that Coolidge has been typecast over the years, and she'll be the first to acknowledge that fact. She told W Magazine in 2022, "...people saw me doing comedies, and that's the only way they saw me." You don't look upset. <sighs> the Botox. I can't show emotion for another hour and a half." Coolidge also spoke with Variety about how some directors can be challenging to work with if their minds are not open to what an actor is capable of. She lamented, "...some directors really don't want to see what you have. They have an idea of what you're supposed to do, and they don't want to see your version of it." Coolidge hasn't just dealt with a lack of diversity in the parts she's been offered, she's also experienced a good deal of outright rejection, especially in the early days of her career. While it was certainly painful, it also prepared her for the realities of stardom. The actor elaborated, "...ten years of my life of auditioning, none of it added up to a job. The fear is gone when you're so used to losing. There's some freedom in that." The entertainment industry may seem all glitz and glamour, but that's far from the truth. It's hard work, and most actors fail to ever make it big. Being an actor also requires you to have thick skin and be able to take rejection without it deterring you. If the feedback that Jennifer Coolidge has received over the years is anything to go by, then she's one seriously resilient and determined woman who fully deserves to be where she is now. Coolidge has opened up about the harsh comments she's received. A particular incident came to mind for the actor during an interview with Vulture. She recalled a casting agent saying, "...in your headshot, you look just like a young Candace Bergen. You look nothing like this. I only cast good-looking people on my soaps." This was far from the only time that Coolidge has had people comment on her looks. Even a former roommate of hers was critical. Coolidge said that she was told, "...I just want to tell you something, Jennifer. I have a really good eye for talent. I don't see you as someone in front of the camera." Of course, it's Coolidge that ended up getting the last laugh. Success truly is the best revenge. In HBO's The White Lotus, Jennifer Coolidge plays Tanya McQuad, a woman stricken with grief after her mother's death. Tanya's journey moving forward is difficult and painful at times, just as it was for Coolidge when her real-life mother passed away. I'm a very needy person, and I am deeply, deeply insecure. Jennifer's mother, Gretchen, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 1994. There was little time for Jennifer to prepare as her mom succumbed to her illness just months later. The loss profoundly affected Coolidge both at the time and into the future. The 2020 pandemic also brought unexpected feelings back up to the surface. She told the Los Angeles Times, "...I think maybe COVID felt like round two of something that I experienced in my early 30s, which was the passing of my mother. It was very unexpected. It was very traumatic. I don't think I ever, you know, could really recover from it." Luckily, Coolidge was able to move forward, and she used her experiences as inspiration for Tanya's journey of grief. Jennifer Coolidge is without a doubt a successful actor, and despite this success, she appears to remain humble. In an interview with The Guardian, she joked about the roles she received later in life, saying, "...I've been very lucky. I don't want to analyze it too much in case they dry up." She continued, "...people assume I could only do certain kinds of roles. That lady who comes in, opens a door, says something funny, then closes it. You get put in a box as comic relief, but those things helped get me back in the game, and I'm so glad." Based on the roles that Coolidge takes on, many of her fans may assume that she's a woman who is confident and carefree. After all, not just anyone could deliver such masterful comedic performances. Oh my god! You look like the 4th of July! It makes me want a hot dog real bad. If you thought Coolidge was completely comfortable with herself, though, you'd be mistaken. She's admitted to using comedy as a defense mechanism, telling in style, "...I hate to just be me. I think I put on a little something just to survive. There are tricks I've learned where I don't have to be 100% myself." In 2015, Jennifer Coolidge decided to take a role in a play in Boston, Massachusetts, so she could be closer to her father. Tragically, her dad never ended up seeing the play because he died shortly before its opening night. Paul Constant Coolidge lived a long and full life, but that didn't make his passing any less difficult for his daughter. 
Coolidge was close to both her parents, and she honored them when she accepted a Screen Actors Guild Award in 2023 for her role in The White Lotus. She spoke of how her love of acting started, crediting her father for introducing her to Charlie Chaplin in the first grade during a film festival. She said in her acceptance speech, I swear to God, seeing Charlie Chaplin for the first time and having that experience, it's my love of film. It's my love of actors. All that came from my first grade. Jennifer Coolidge's personal and professional struggles made her into the person she is today. One of the more challenging times in her life was during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. The extended period of uncertainty and health concerns weighed heavily on her shoulders. Coolidge told The Guardian in 2021, I was really affected by the pandemic. It was an incredibly sad time. I was reading tragic news stories on a daily basis, had a fatalistic approach, and assumed the virus was going to win. The pandemic affected how Coolidge looked at both her life and her career going forward. She continued, I knew people who lost their lives and was convinced we wouldn't make it through. I wasn't thinking about work because I didn't think we'd be alive. The actor's fragile emotional state also made her eat more than usual, especially pizza. But let's be honest, who could blame her? We've seen Jennifer Coolidge play sexually charged roles, but what do we really know about her love life? In an interview with Variety, the actor admitted that her role in American Pie resulted in a lot of male attention, saying, I got a lot of play at being a MILF, and I got a lot of sexual action from American Pie. There were so many benefits to doing that movie. I mean, there would be like 200 people that I would never have slept with. So where's your little date tonight? Oh, no date. It was, it was a bathroom incident. Pardon me? Nonetheless, Coolidge's love life has not played out exactly as she would have dreamed. Even though she's now in her 60s, she's never been married, and she's still looking for that special someone. Coolidge told Vulture, I don't want this to be the end of my life and my romance and all that, but I don't know how people do it anymore. Sometimes I feel like you got this good little thing going once in a while with somebody. You get too much permission to, you know, be you. The thing dissolves pretty quick. Despite making some questionable dating choices in her past, like when she apparently pretended to be a twin to date two men at once, Coolidge is admittedly a romantic. She may very well find her perfect match in the future. As she said to InStyle, I want to remain hopeful because it would be so cool to be really madly in love with somebody again. Well, if a girl like you can't hold on to her man, then there sure as hell isn't any hope for the rest of us. Can anyone really say that they have lived their life without a single regret? Is there not something that most people look back on and wish they had the power to change? When Jennifer Coolidge's mother passed away suddenly, it wasn't something she saw coming, and she found herself wishing that she could have done things a bit differently. In her interview with the Los Angeles Times, Coolidge addressed her mother's passing, telling the paper, you think you have like 30 more Thanksgivings with someone, or 30 more, you know, summer vacations to have with your parents or whatever. Then all of a sudden, it's very clear that that's not going to happen and then it makes you angry at yourself and wishing you had been able to see the future, you know? Coolidge's comments are definitely relatable to those who have also lost loved ones unexpectedly and far too soon. We'll always love Jennifer Coolidge's hilarious appearances in comedy staples like Best in Show and Party Down, but her true time to shine came when she appeared as Tanya in The White Lotus. The role has earned her a Primetime Emmy Award, a Golden Globe, and heaps of critical acclaim, but she almost turned it down. The White Lotus creator Mike White understood the frustrations Coolidge has had with being typecast when he offered her the role. The filmmaker told Vulture, I know that sometimes she gets frustrated that she's always having hump the furniture parts. She can nail that kind of broad comedy, so of course that's what people want her to do. People love her, but she's put in a box. The reason for Coolidge's hesitancy was simple. She told In Style, I just looked like crap and didn't want to be on camera. Oh my gosh. Both of you are so pretty. I've never seen you this close. Wow. Luckily for her and fans of the show, she ended up taking on the role of a lifetime.